Peace, peace to everyone. And thank you for tuning in. We're going to go over some simple, but very, very effective stretches that will help alleviate the tension, the tightness within the shoulders and the spine. Some of us have to do these motions on a daily basis. Some of us don't have to do them. But as children, we all would stretch and play and reach in all sorts of motions. So that's what we're going to do today. This is a good chest or heart opener for you. Just breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Allow your body to feel it. Bring your arms forward and, oops, um, I think it appears that I have just snapped my, um, my resistance band. Um, so um, how do we proceed? Well, um, just give me one moment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Instead of doing resistance training, we're going to be working with a bamboo stick or whatever stick you can find that's long enough. Because during these shoulder stretches, you can also take the time to work on your breathing. No matter if it's a resistance band that you've chosen to use no matter if it is a stick that you have chosen to use or a staff that you have chosen to use. Allow your heart to open. Allow your heart to open. Allow your rib cage to expand. Feel it. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in and breathe out you will feel some tension. Now go as far as you are able to go. That is it. That is the whole premise of this. It, this is not you do what I do. It is you do what your body allows you to do. And then from that moment, you are able to expand and explore the capacity of your body. Because the focus here is muscle and joint elongation. It is not about strength and having big muscle mass for everyone. And I have a fully disabled son. And I have realized over time that yoga, functional fitness, functional body movements with resistance bands, with stick or staff, or even water has been great for training, for reaching those quick twitch muscles, the smaller muscles that provide that immediate torque or force before the larger muscles like the biceps and the hamstrings kick in. Muscles like the muscles within the shoulders, the scapula, within the serratus, the psoas, the quadrus laborum, the QL. These muscles are very important. And these simple but effective motions that we're doing here, I hope you take the time to do this with me by saving it, by watching it later, or by joining me right now. Because these motions, they're simple. They truly are, but they're effective. Let us work on the forward fold. I'm using that bamboo staff to ensure that my hips are folded thoroughly and proper. This is the premise of this forward fold. It is to ensure that I am using all of the proper technique and the proper motion. Because if you are not, 
whatever staff you have there, no matter how much it weighs, it will, it will fall. So take your time. Remember, it's about elongation and you are breathing. You are reaching all the way to the heavens. You are stretching. You are bending. And you should be able to feel this not only within your spine and in your chest. You should be able to feel this in your feet and in your legs. And allow yourself to breathe and hang back. And with each breath, you go further, further, and hold. It's about maintaining the proper posture and position. These simple yet effective shoulder and spine stretching methods are proven and they have been used over time and they will help you with your posture. They will help you find out where you are tight and where you are not. What side needs to be worked more and what side does not need as much work? For me in particular, my right side, the side that is on your left, is tighter than my left. So I focus in a little bit longer on this side. I'm breathing in. I'm making sure that my head is visible. If my head is visible, meaning my head is not hidden behind my arm, I feel it a touch more. This is a simple stretch. You don't have to go as far as I'm going again. You can have your hands on your hip and just leaning that way. That is it. You don't have to do this, but if you feel comfortable, grab you a staff and do this method. I don't suggest using a weight. Some may suggest using a weight, I don't. Use your body weight and use a support system. And this is why I'm using this bamboo staff. It is a support system. It is a equilibrium. It allows me to balance myself to become one with myself. As foolish as it may sound to some, it's not. Because as I move and find my position, the staff also moves with me and also shows me what position I need to be in. It is that serious, but it's that simple too. That is nature at its finest. My right side, is the tighter side. So the side that is on your right, I don't need as much stretching. Because the QL on this side and the serratus on this side is looser. So you focus in on the side that's tighter, but you also maintain and you also want to strengthen the side that is strong so that it does not become weak. Take the time to breathe deeply. Feel the breeze wherever you are, whether it's artificial air from the air conditioner or whether you're outside, whether it's from the fan. Just feel it and breathe it in and breathe it out. Take your time because as you go through it, we don't want you to get lightheaded. So now we're going to work on a simple, but this pose can be difficult. The King Dancer's pose. We're going to be using a staff this time for balance to ensure that we are in a straight line. Don't always expect to land perfectly. And it's okay if you do not. I don't. 
This is why I want to show you that sometimes you stumble <laughs> and sometimes you don't. So we have to switch legs now because what we do on one, we must do on the other. And this side again is my stronger leg, my left leg, but it seems that I'm having a little bit more difficulty on this leg getting there, even though it's my stronger leg than it was on my right leg. That's the tricky thing about yoga. That's the tricky thing about balance. It requires intense focus, intense focus. As much as we don't think it does uh, posture, as much as we don't concern ourselves with our posture, we really should, you know. I, I can recall when I was younger, I would want to walk it whatever way was cool or whatever way would get the most attention. But the older I got, I realized that didn't work. But also the older I got, I realized that I want to make sure that my posture when I am 80 years old is the best way it could be if I am blessed to see that. So while I am in my 40s, I will take advantage of that and continue to work on the muscle elongation, continue to work on ligament and joint elongation, continue to work on making sure my posture, my mind, my body, my spirit are all intertwined into one. So we continue with some simple swinging motions. And now we have moved on to a staff, just a simple staff. And we're going to use this staff to make sure that we can rotate, rotate, slowly breathing in, slowly breathing out. And we're going to go as far as that we can go. That is it. We can't go any further, then we stop. We want to make sure we have full momentum and full motion. Now, we do not have to move fast. We can move as we decide to move. We can move at our pace, our tempo. We don't have to do what the next one does all the way. All we need to know is that we can do it. We can take our time and get somewhere where we were not the day before. Yoga, stretching, it is a union with you and you. It is a union with you and the creator. That is it. It is a union. And allow yourself to be able to be unionized within your own being. Know how your body works. Rotate your shoulders. Know where you are within your own body. And when you stretch versus just lifting weights, it is a different discipline. When you practice yoga versus just lifting weights, it requires meditation. It requires long-term focus, not just in that moment, but it requires focused intent throughout every single motion you make in your life because you have to maintain balance. You must maintain flexibility if you want to live a healthy life. If you want to elongate your life, elongate your posture. If you want to elongate your life, elongate your posture. I want to thank you all for tuning in. I'll be back with more yoga as I wave by and I get the opportunity to walk away. I want to say namaste. Be blessed today.